Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 26 of my gameplay series on Willamina Forest. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back to Willamina Forest. We have some exciting things planned today. I think so anyhow. Um, so first off, I want to say uh, uh, one shout out to one comment. Uh, Brandon B commented saying, why are we doing dirt when we have beautiful gravel and everywhere else? Yeah, personally, I like the contrast, um, but uh, we could update that. We could do maybe gravel through here and then dirt the rest of the area. Just do gravel. We'll see what that looks like. We might as well. Um, that I think should be gravel as well, to be honest. Let's get over to gravel. There we go. Get this all gravelied. All right. All right, I think up to there is probably maybe a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then we'll get this section done. I definitely want some dirt roads around. I don't think the whole farm should have gravel on it, but uh, I think through here would be, it'd probably look pretty nice. Maybe just do up to this intersection. I think something like that. And then that's where it kind of shifts to the dirt roads all around. And then this, I think, should be gravel as well. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. See, I like it usually because there's a little bit of a, a, you know, a difference. You can tell there's a difference between the yard and the road and whatnot, but it shouldn't matter really a whole lot. And this root crop storage, so I have good news, I think. Um, we're going to sell it. And just bear with me here. If I can find it, that is. We can't sell it without me finding it. Did I pass it? I must have passed it. There's no way I haven't. I wouldn't have seen it by now, <laughs> or it wouldn't have been on here by now. Um, root crop storage. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna sell that. Yes, and we're gonna reimburse ourselves the other forty-five thousand. And you might think, okay, well, that's pretty cheaty. Just hear me out here. So Kyle was <laughs> watching my episode as always, and. Uh, he made me a much better setup of a few different uh, storages. So he made this one farm supply storage that holds these things, 500,000 liters of them. This one holds all these things, grass, hay, straw, silage, 500,000 liters. And more um, importantly, so this is the one we had to put in. This one holds all of these products here. So TMR, wood chips, sugar cane, sugar beets, potatoes, and it holds 500,000 liters. So we are going to place this. It is slightly more expensive, but 100% more worth it. That's if I can get it to actually place here. I'd be very angry if I couldn't get it to place here since I got the other one to place here. Hmm. Well, that's... Over here, it works fine, huh? We might have to put it over here. Can we place anything over there? What's the time in... Yeah, so tomorrow's mod of the day, which I'll just show you because I'm... I'm gonna test to see if it can place over there. Um, the mod I was gonna add in, ooh, these look cool. Did I add those in? Oh, those are part of a different mod pack. Never mind that we already had it in. Um, I added this guy in because I, I use it on No Man's Land. It's pretty nifty. So I can put, okay. So these guys will, for the most part, go over there. So I can put some storages over there at least. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know why, why the root crop storage or any of the storages that I want to put over, well, like a silo fit, well, that'll stay over there. What is up with these guys? Don't know, I don't understand it. Well, the, we might do some reorganizing. Do we have anything in our silo right now? Uh, let's go through. Oh, we have wood chips in it, 79,000 liters. Okay, we could always add, we could always fix that up. Um, we might end up, Let's see here if we can't get the... Will that stay over there? No, that won't go over there either, really. I'll say I wouldn't mind moving this guy over to this side and doing something else with it, but uh, that's really not liking it. That is very odd. Huh. 
Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to have to live with that. So let's go grab that storage. We'll try it one more time. Trying to get it anywhere over here. Will it fit the other way? Even if I have to do it the way I don't want it to be. Go there. How far over would it have to be? Hmm. Now, could I place this one again? There? Wow, won't even let that guy place there again. We have... Oh, this is what drives me crazy. Let's turn that off and see if... I don't know if that'll change anything. It shouldn't. That should make it worse, theoretically, but... Go into here and just try to put anything... Yeah, it's not even trying to deform anything now. Um, okay, well... Um, let's buy that guy again. Let's go into here. Okay. Yeah, let's just put it... Maybe like this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's a good spot for it. And then we have room for more of them here if we want to. So we'll use this as a storage row, which wasn't what I originally wanted to do, but you know what? I can live with it, I think. Um, and this can go through here. Just like that. Okay, perfect. So I can just go like that. All right, so yeah, we have we have a root crop storage now. That will do the trick for us. Um, just a quick update for everything else we got going on here. Let's take a look at everything out here. So everything we're just waiting for it to grow up. It's uh, 1,500 hours right now. I don't think we have anything that won't work today, right? No, I think it should all work now. Um, so we'll probably hop in. Yeah, we'll probably keep doing some forestry. I think that's what I'm gonna work on. So. For the rest of the day, I want to get some forestry done. If we have to, I'll I'll keep putting... I'll, I'll probably end up having to do some more wood chipping. But I want to, this episode, I want to absolutely get this done. I want to try to get this field down here. And then I want to add an upgrade into the town. And the upgrade into the town that I want to add is going to, I think... It actually might be the mod of the day for tomorrow. That shed I might leave in, and then we might be a mod or two behind. There's so many mods I want to add in now, but uh, the other one I might actually add in as a town upgrade, and I think that's what I'll do, so that way it doesn't count against our mod of the day. I know it sounds like I'm trying to bypass the system, but, um, well, I, you'll understand why it would it will sound okay once we get there. But uh, for now, I'm going to work on getting some forestry done, because we do have a $200,000 loan to pay off, so I want to get that paid off uh, as soon as possible while we're waiting for everything to grow up, so... We should get lots of sugar beets off of this, in all honesty. That should be really good for us, so. Um, okay, yeah, what do we got for wood chip pricing right now? Let me double check. Yeah, nothing super high. We'll wait for that one to get up into, like, the 300-some-odd range um, before we sell anything. So I'll keep working on doing some forestry stuff, and I'll bring you guys back in in a little bit. All right, folks, it is morning on the farm. I started the field, so we actually did pretty good yesterday. I got... Uh, Let's go, actually, I loaded back in. Let's make sure nothing's ready to harvest. Okay, it's getting close here, but yeah, we're probably not going to be getting these guys down until tomorrow again. Um, okay, so this is the outline of the field I started getting. I got all the trees cleared out, and actually, this will be easier to show it. Let's go into landscaping. Okay, so I put in dirt path down all the way here. Let's see where the forestry stuff's at, and then across here. Which this, by the way, is like the edge of our property. This tree... I tried to take that tree out, but we don't own it, um, which I I didn't realize how close we were getting to this property line over here. As you can see, that's the property line right there. But I mean, we have plenty of land still, but we are right up against this property line here. So we may end up looking at buying this uh, sooner rather than later. Um, so we'll see though. But yeah, so that that's going to be a fantastically long field for us. And then hopefully the next goal I would say would just be to put in another field next to it. Um, which may involve, if we want it to be as long, may involve buying more land. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'll work on this today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yesterday we made $122,275, uh, mostly from lumber. I hauled away. I hauled two loads away. Um, so we're sitting at a total of $4.8 million. Um, and I did add in a mod um, to add as a town upgrade. You already know the mod for today, which is going to be um, that shed I installed yesterday. Which, where is it at? this guy right here so i don't know if we'll end up using it or not today it's not very expensive and it's pretty easy to place and get stuff in um i don't know if i'll use it excessively or not but uh actually i am curious about one thing though 
Would something like this fit over here? No, it's huge. That's absolutely massive. And of course, it's not going to place at all. Say, because I could, I'd be willing to place something like that over there, but I don't think I'd ever get that to place. Because the garage seemed to have less of an issue placing. Ooh, that places. Yeah, it's a little too far over, though. I'd need it at least there. Huh. And then there's plenty of garages I could probably get to place over here. Yeah, like that one would be fine. But um, anyhow, yeah, I don't know which one I'll put in there. But uh, yep, yeah, I will work on... Oh, we need to do uh, maintenance. Let's go ahead and... Let me get a random number generator pulled up here online. Since we are doing our 1 to 80 random number generation. Okay, we have two vehicles as far as I know, and I'll double check here in a second. But let's get that pulled up. There we go. So Generate 4. Uh-oh, that's something. And 79. 79 safe, so 4 for the case. Um, okay. Um, let's see what four is. Let me pull up that. I keep forgetting to readjust the hyperlink um, so I can actually see what's going on. But let me, there's that. Let me open it up here. Number four, bad transmission all day. Oh, now we have to do a one or a two to see if we replace it or we, uh, let's see, one or two here. One, okay, we can repair it for five grand versus the 10 grand. It still takes all day, but uh, okay, we'll pay that. Okay, and then um, where is it at? Not you, you're, I, I know I can check the hours inside the screen, but I'm just gonna check them since I'm looking for the case anyways. Yep, here you are. Um, oh, wait a second. Well, you get, you got, you got it hit on the first one, but I'll say you get two rolls on this guy now. Um, but I mean, if he gets hit, then it doesn't matter anyways. I'm just gonna, I know it wouldn't start and move around. I'm going to move it over here. Um, I can't remember who said it a while back. Someone said I should put in like a shop so we know which ones are getting repaired and whatnot, which would actually be a really good idea. But I'll just park it. Uh, we'll park it up here in the grass just so we know it's out of commission for the time being. Perfect. We'll park it right there. Yeah, that canola is looking good there. Turn it off so you don't get any more hours. Um, but yeah, I'll work on continuing doing this and then I'll bring you guys back in later on either for a, a time lapse today or there's something I want to add into the town that I'm just going to bring you guys in and we'll talk about as we go through. So I will see you guys later on. All right, we are going to head into town and we're going to try something with this load of wood. Uh, you may already know because it might be the thumbnail, but if this goes terribly, then it won't be the thumbnail. So <laughs> I don't know if it's the thumbnail yet, but, uh, we are going to try some production, which I um, <laughs> have a couple comments a couple of you guys made about production here in a second. I'll go over. I'm not laughing at the comments. I'm I'm laughing at the fact that I know this is probably going to go so far south. I'm using a couple of production buildings I've never used before. Oh, no. Oh, I knew something was about to go south. Ooh. Come on, you can do it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, for the sake of recording, <laughs> I'm just going to flip this stupid thing back over. Dude, I'll even build myself for a tow truck here in a second. Come on now. There you go. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stay right side up. There you go. Okay. All right. Turn that off. Well, th that would be an expensive tow bill. Probably be more than that, but we'll just build that. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So these are a couple of production buildings I've never used before. They've been on the Mod Hub for a while. Um, I really wanted to use the Factories Pack that came out recently, but this map is not ready for it. Um, you have to use a map that's ready for it. But uh, off camera a while ago, or not a while ago, I guess earlier, I cleared off this spot right here, which I want to put um, the factories in. So we're going to go ahead and try that here in a second. Let me stop here, turn this off. Um, so the ones we're going to try are under this. They're the barrel production and the pallet production. So my understanding is you need pallets for the barrels, but it says you need boards and beams. And I don't know how to produce those. You can cut boards from beams. From boards and beams, can cut boards from beams. Um, are beams like logs? 
I don't know. We'll find out. So we're just going to go for it. Let me see how big this is. Oh, yeah. Let me write down our cash because we're not paying for these out of pocket. And I'll explain the system as to how we're going to do this um, in a second. We're just going to add. Okay, let's see how big this darn thing is. Too many. Oh, what? 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 Well, that's kind of a bummer. Is it not going to let me place that? Well, let's place the barrels. That's weird. Um, too many of ob. Well, what do we have that we could? I don't think we have anything. Is it too many? It can't be too many aggress points because we. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. That's strange. We have. None of that should matter. Um, because that's like the same message it gives you with uh trees. That's really strange. Huh. Well, I'm gonna do some uh figuring out here. Maybe I'll install something off the the interweb and figure out what's going on. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we go <laughs> into here this time. Oh boy. So we were gonna try um this one would... Oh, those are showing up now. Oh, maybe that's the issue. I installed something. Let me try something real quick. Do we still have too many of those? Well, it's frozen now. Oh, shoot. Well, that was a mistake. That's what I get for just clicking away. Um, Okay, I'm going to load back in since I haven't saved this yet. All right, fix the issue. Thank goodness. So that does have... So those are showing up now, which I think is because I installed the Castor Sawmill pack. Yeah, that's what I installed. So that's what I needed, I guess, to do that. Um, okay. This is the beam winder, wrapping wooden beams. This wrapping system packs 12 wooden beams into one compact fold pack. Pallet manufacturing. Instead of selling wooden pallets directly, empty pallets can be produced here. Huh, okay. So this is all, so some of this, I guess, works together with the other one. So point of sale for all this stuff. Pallet manufacturing, beam winder, wood storage, wood power plant, sawmill. With the sawmill, wooden pallets and wooden beams can be made from logs. Okay, these can be used for further processing or sale. So this is, let me wait for it to load instead of just clicking away. So this is what has to go in first. Um, this is huge. Um, before we can do... This thing is absolutely massive. So we're going to need some more land. Um, okay, so I'm starting to learn some of this stuff. Um, I've never used any of this. So we should be able to create these guys from there. And then from that, we should be able to produce... Use this to do pallets if we want to. Or we can use the Agra's one... Or the uh, Castor one to do pallets. And then we should be able to produce barrels from those. So it's all coming together now <laughs> those were missing before so now we got it all figured out now it's all working um and things are starting to connect up um so i think what we're gonna have to do let me go back into here yeah so i think just for the we're gonna need more space i think we just have to clear this out down along to here somewhere um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through that. I am going to do a time lapse in this episode of me adding in kind of like a town upgrade. Um, but just doing this part, I'll, I'll have you guys in here when I actually smooth it out and put in that portion of it, but clearing the trees, I'm going to get that done real quick off camera. Um, and I'm actually going to move our time down because this is just kind of separate and this can stay here. So we have wood ready to go to test this out. This is probably the, the uh, thumbnail is going to say it's the sawmill. Well, it is going to be, but it's the thumbnail, not the sawmill. Um, so I'm going to get that cleared up, and then I will bring you guys in after that, and then we'll start working on getting this kind of factory area set up. And I think we may just do one at a time. And there's other production and stuff um, as well. And actually, on that note, too, I will mention, um, I would say that if you guys have, like, a production plant you want to see me use, uh, please comment down below. Leave a link to it. Um, I know that uh, Martin L has left a comment about that before. Um, and actually, for this one... Um, Troa B uh, said we should do wood production, such as pallets and barrels, which is what I have installed here. Um, 
And uh, Joshua T. did make a comment saying that we should maybe lease the land or the factories and produce the products using them. I think what I'm going to do is a little bit, something a little bit different than that, but we're going to have to have some sort of fee because obviously we're not going to pay to put in these factories. Well, we could, I guess, and then we could just keep all the money, which we may do eventually. But for the time being, just so we can start using them right away, um, instead of just saving up millions of dollars and then buying them ourselves, we are going to set up a way that we can kind of lease them and use them um, right now. So I'm going to get all those trees cleared out and then I'll bring you guys back in here in just a little bit. All right, mission accomplished. So we should be able to uh, have plenty of room. I thought there was a tree there I missed. But yeah, I think this is, this is plenty to start us out, I think. Um, let's see where this is kind of... This is all flat from here, so we're going to stay on this level, I think, as going to be the plan. Let's get this a little bit bigger. Yeah. And then we can smooth this out. Do some of this through here. Make this a little bit bigger. We are doing such a massive area. I want to be careful because that road does start to dip down over there. I don't want to re mess with that that dip. Um, yeah, just along there. That'll work out nice. And then, yeah, this dip over here. Starts to work its way down. So let me see how far this... Okay, that's starting to raise the road up already. I don't want to waste that land, so I'm going to do this on you know, around the edges, but... There. Okay, we will need to fix that little chunk of road here. Which should be pretty easy to do. Okay. Now we're going to want to... Get our very extreme smoothing tool out and we're gonna want to work our way around the edges here actually that might I want I might want that to go out a little further let me bring that out just a little bit on the edges there yeah I want that to go out right of there and smooth off the edge okay there we go I make this a little bit bigger go then i'll give it just kind of the illusion of it just being you know, a steep hill versus that kind of weird jagged edge that it had before it'll work out pretty well through here nice excellent excellent okay now i think we are gonna paint this change that to make this as large as possible i think we're gonna want to do uh, i passed it let me go back around I think this grass, yeah, this is what we've been using, basically. Get that right up to the road. Down here a little ways. I'll fix that up off the road here in a second. Perfect. Okay. This is essentially what kind of the grass is going to end up being around the whole map at some point well at least most of it since we're repainting a lot of that darker grass to be this stuff there we go this will be a nice area for the sawmill I don't think it looks too weird it's a little strange the way it's set up but I think it'll be okay Okay, yeah, it's a little strange. I know it's gonna look, it looks looks really odd just being this big open area that dips down, but it'll look more normal once we build some stuff in here. Um, okay, let's go and place a little company. It's the sawmill we need. I'm waiting for it to load. I'm not gonna touch anything. Um, I'm not sure how it all, where all the triggers are and things like that. So I'm just gonna try to set it up in a way that Seems like it will work. I think I want those to be... Maybe if we do it more at an angle like that. <clears throat> I think more like that, maybe. 
think a lot of the stuff's gonna be on the front and the sides, and then we have more land. Yeah, that'll work perfect, because then we have all this. Yeah, I think a lot of it's actually inside here. And then we can make a little bit of a yard on the side, and then we have all this land for more um, advancement. I guess the only tricky part is that driveway is gonna be a little tricky to do, but we can make that work. Come back into painting. Um, we're gonna want that to be that it didn't really mess up my landscaping at all, actually, so that's that's a good thing. Um that's gonna wanna be Actually I think I'm gonna just try to oh that's me. Never mind, that's not gonna work. Let me just get in there just enough. Get some of that. Oh, that's pavement in there. A little bit around the back. We can fix that real quick. Perfect. Okay, that way it's that's what I want, I think. <laughs> okay, um let's get this is gonna be the, the driveway in probably, so let's get this fixed up. All right. We'll just bring it straight out into it and then we'll fix that portion later. Actually, if I should have stayed on that. Well, I guess while we're here, might as well fix this section. I have to move a little bit smaller. I just want to get some of that grass off the edge through here. Yeah, just kind of like that. Okay, and then while we're over here, that needs some significant smoothing. We're actually gonna, it actually looks like it'll be fine. We'll test it out here. Yeah, that should be that should be smooth enough. Okay. Go back into landscaping. Go back over here so the exit kind of route. Go along there. I think I'm going to do one of these types of things here. And it may connect up with other stuff later on, but just for the time being, I'm just going to run it down here. and out onto the road. I think I might put some trees in here just to kind of help separate it out because that kind of helps make it look a little bit more, I don't know, less abrasive, more blending into the environment a little bit. So let me get out of there. And also, too, another side note, um, if we go into here, so when I clear stuff out with the, uh, if I just use the FDR and just cut them down with the, the tree chopper, it doesn't count them as trees that we've cut, so we have trees cut down here. Um, like, I did a bunch, but I haven't done any over on our farm, so it, it doesn't show us any being cut this session. 1,908 total is what we've cut down. That includes the ones we've done with the Brooks and the FDR and at the very beginning, so that's that's a lot of trees. <laughs> <laughs> that is an absolute boatload of trees, but anyhow, uh, let me go into decoration in here. Um, let's see. Farm storage, farm stable, farm shed. What does that kind of look like? Uh, let's see, I could just put like a big is this barrier? It's not very big at all. Um, let's go to... What's that going to look like there? That's not too bad. kind of like those, just something a little bit different. Alright, nice. Nice and neat. Now I need some big trees. These guys are Maple might look pretty good. Yeah, I like the maple. Put a couple of maples back here. Maple there, maple there, maple there. And the beaches are the, the big old guys that really help bring things in, I think, anyways. At least for the purposes of what we got going on. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty good there. We'll put just another one right there. Okay. Fabulous. That is what we have. That is the Castor Sawmill. This is probably the thumbnail. Um, let's try to use this thing. I don't, I've never used it before. Wow, look at that. I wonder if this is, this looks like where you would, let's go into the global company here and open this up. You put in wood, you get all sorts of things out of here. Okay, well, let's just throw our load of wood on here and see if we, we might not be able to get it on there without something to load it on there with. Huh. What a nifty building. I'm assuming that out there had to be the input, probably, would be my guess, but let's open up. Okay. I mean, that's what I could guess, is that that's probably got to be the, the input over there. So if we drive, because those are a couple outputs there, and this has got to be the input. We're going to need to buy ourselves like a wheel loader or something to work. Oh, wait a second. That's just unloading them off of there. Okay. There we go. I just got to pull up next to it. It's easier said than done, apparently. Why is my truck having issues? Grab those last two. There we go. Okay. Um, that should be throwing them on, right? Yep. Okay, let's go into here. Okay. So it's going through 6,000 liters of wood an hour, so it's going to take a while to go through a chunk there. And this is... Hmm, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the the outputs are going to be for that. But uh, let's go into here, actually, and get um, the sell point for these guys right here. Just in case we do want to just sell them as they are. Um, where should I put it? It could fit maybe in here. Or I could put it down at the sawmill. Actually, that might be a good spot for it. They take bulk wood down here, and they're also probably going to take this right here. Um, okay, let's put... I can move this to somewhere else other, later on. So we'll just, for now, we'll just have it right there. That'll be a good spot for it. Um, and let's look at some of these prices. I don't know what we're going to get off of them and everything like that, but if we go down to the end here, it should add them all in. Um, land trade will take them. The one we just added in. Go to the map. What is that one? Oh, it's the Verkov, of course. Um, okay. Yeah, they don't sell too bad. We'll see what we get off of that load, and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to make more money doing this, so um, depending, my, what I'm going to try to do is essentially whatever we sell, whatever we get off of it, or we pay, I'm going to say we pay per thousand liters, we pay like 40, per, or maybe not 40%, maybe like, we'll try 20%? Now we'll try 30% and then see if it's too overpowered. We'll pay 30% of what they're worth um, when we pick them up. So theoretically speaking, we could be clever and pick them up when they're not worth as much and things like that, but awesome. We'll let that keep working. This is like a very dangerous spot to sit, but uh, okay. Fabulous. I'm pretty excited to see how that, that pans out. We should be able to get a little bit of a result later on. Um, so I'm going to go back to Nothing's ready to harvest. Oh, wait. These guys are ready to harvest. So we're going to get to harvesting these guys. That's actually... Let's go jump over getting the... Uh, where's it at? Right there. Let's get you rolling. You're fully repaired. Good to go. Is it raining out still? Oh, no. It says it's sunny out, but the rain is still falling. I don't know what it's going to say when we go to harvest. We'll see in a second. 
theoretically speaking, it should not allow us to. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if there's other production you guys want to see us do. I'm not going to do just a million production plants. Uh, the wood one, that's a fantastic idea from Troa because it makes sense. I mean, we're doing a forestry map. We have a lot of wood. We're producing a lot of wood. That makes sense that we would be doing stuff with it. So I think that's a definitely a good spot for us to start as far as production goes. I have another production plant I installed that I won't say, um, but I think that's one. And I know someone else, uh, Martin L commented one a while back that I'm not going to say either because I will probably end up using it at some point. But uh, yeah, also leave me a link to it if you can for where you found it online because obviously the Mod Hub doesn't have a lot of different production plants. And I did want to use those factories like I mentioned earlier, but again, they're not, this is a little bumpier than I thought, but they're not, uh, they're not set up to be able to be used on this map, so. Okay. Should do okay off of this harvest, I would think. Yep, it doesn't think it's raining, so that's fine. <laughs> awesome, okay. Well, I'm going to keep working on harvesting here. I'm looking at time for the video. We're probably getting close to the end of this episode, so I actually... Uh, might bring you guys back in when we get our first load out of the uh, sawmill and then that'll probably be the end of it for this episode I probably won't do a time lapse in this episode, but I'll definitely do one of the next one. So anyway guys I will see you guys in a little bit All right folks welcome back. So a couple things to note um, Harvest is going well our trailer that we had was not doing great. Um, it had some issues um, I'm gonna sell actually this guy here because we don't need it anymore. Actually, does it still have stuff in it? I had some issues uh, with the game. I'll explain in a second. It has wood chips in it. Okay, we'll fix that in a second and empty it out. Um, so if we jump over to here, you'd expect to see the sawmill we just spent all that time putting in over there, but you don't see it uh, because the game had some sort of issue and it uh, had a yeah, it was not good. Um, so. I've gotten it back up to this point and I have a backup copy of the game. There's some of the stuff is here still in the game, but I just threw it off to the side for now. I got rid of the sell point and everything we placed here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. We're sitting at 143,000 in the bank. And I did buy us a new trailer and reimbursed us for the Benelli trailer that we had because it, for some reason the cover was not coming off, so I couldn't use it. So I switched it out for the West App trailer. Um, so I bought us this guy. I paid the difference, but I didn't lose any money in the other trailer. I, it was like worth 79000 so I made sure we got 79000 back. So we paid a little bit for a better trailer, 105,000 liter capacity. So we have one of these now. It's sitting out at the store. Um, but let's try to put just super weird. I'm not sure if it was that or it was the, the Benelli trailer, the Benalu trailer that we had that was causing the glitch. But it just all started acting up as soon as the Benalu trailer started to have an issue. So um, we're going to, we know how much we have. We're going to add in another. We're going to try just adding in the sawmill and seeing what happens. Um, yeah, I don't know why it was, I, I can't, it could be this mod. Like there's so many things that we changed all of a sudden that it could be any number of them. So we're just going to try to do what we can to get this to work again. Um, I'm just gonna have to cheat in whatever 105, I'll probably just throw in some logs until we get to 105,000 liters. Um, we'll put that guy there. Okay, that's basically where we had it. That all still looks good. And we had a backup game save. So I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, we'll hop out of there. I guess, yeah, it did. it's gonna do that every time we place it again, if we do have to place it again. So let's smooth that back out. Um, okay, down here. See, we can raise that up. I'm actually going to make that a lot bigger. Just smooth that as crazy as possible to get it super smooth going up into there. I'll smooth that just along there. Might as well. Okay. Um. So, yeah, that was a, it was kind of strange. But what I'm essentially going to do, I don't know. Um, this should work, I would think. But to get 100, we had 105,000 liters of wood in there to process. Um, so, I'm going to do... First, I'm going to turn on our super strength here. Then I'm going to spawn in. Okay, let's see what that added in. That was 5,000, so I need to do that a bunch more times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That should give us 55,000. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 104,000. Okay, let's just add in. 105. Okay, yeah, we had 105 and change. So that got us back up to there. So I'm going to save it again. 
Again, I have this. I had it backed up before I did anything this time. I don't, and I don't, I don't know what it was that did that. I have no idea what the issue was. I couldn't discern anything. I tried different configurations. I spent a couple hours trying to just load in certain aspects of it, but it was just odd, really. But uh, you can see some of the stuff coming out, so this is going to... Does it do that on purpose? Yeah, it does. Okay. And once it gets a pallet, I guess it just spawns it out here. And these guys will get placed out once there's more of them, I guess. But working through it. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Oh boy, on that note, um, I did, well, I sold some wood chips and I sold the MF silo, but that was in the previous save, so I don't even need to mention that anymore, because wood chip prices went up. Yeah, so I don't know what it is. I'm going to just hope for the best. I'm going to record this, the next episode, episode 27, right after this one, but I am going to wrap this episode up here. We're going to do some work with this in the next episode. Hopefully we don't have the same issues, so... If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.